Hello everyone, uh, how are you? Uh, my name is Mohi, I will be your host today. Uh, first of all, I'd like to welcome all of the attendees uh, of this uh, webinar. Uh, for the ones who don't know me, uh, I'm the Customer Relations Manager uh, at Kutubi. Uh, I've been here uh, for almost uh, six uh, months. Uh, I'm really enjoying it um, and I'm really loving it here. Uh, we're trying to uh, give as much webinars uh, as we can to increase uh, the knowledge and uh, the awareness uh, of this field. So uh, the, the main topic uh, of today's webinar uh, will be uh, three ways to create uh, your ebook without paying uh, a dim, which is creating free uh, three free ways to create uh, your ebook. Before I can start, let me share my screen with you so you can uh, see uh, uh, what I will be doing. Okay, so before we can start. Um, I want to show you uh, the outline of our webinar today. Uh, we will start uh, with a brief uh, introduction about ebooks, and then um, I will give you uh, some information about popular free ebook software, and then I will give you the three free ways to create uh, your ebooks. Uh, also, uh, I will give you uh, our free support channels that you can use to reach us as soon as possible. And at the end of this webinar, there will be uh, time for answering uh, all of your questions. And today's gift for the attendees of this webinar, there will be a giveaway. Uh, this giveaway, I will, uh, I will show it to you or I will give it to you at the end of this webinar. It will be to all the attendees of this uh, webinar. Okay, so um, as you all know, um, uh, everything is evolving around us, uh, and that includes the books. Uh, books are evolving. They have started with the heavy printed books, and then uh, they evolved to the software form, which is the PDF format, and finally it reached the interactive ebooks that contains interactive elements like videos, book widgets, audio files, and, and such things. Uh, of course, there are many formats uh, that support interactive ebooks. However, uh, the most famous uh, format is the EPUB format. It's the most format that supports uh, interactive ebooks. So uh, that's why there are a lot of software that create uh, ebooks. So today I will give you uh, the popular uh, some information about the popular uh, software that create uh, ebooks. Uh, of course, we have the the Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, and Adobe Acrobat. Uh, I know uh, these are not free, but uh, you can create dot doc, dot doc the documents uh, with free software like Open Office, for example. Uh, but the, the most important features uh, of this software is it's very easy to use. There are a lot of templates available that you can use to create your own ebooks. However, uh, it will stick to the fixed layout format. It won't adapt to the to smaller screen sizes. Uh, also, uh, it has minimal support for interactivity. You can't add videos, you can't add audio files. Uh, and of course, you will need a suitable reader uh, to read these uh, documents. Another software is the Caliber, which is uh, one of the most famous softwares for creating uh, EPUBs. Uh, it runs on Windows, Linux, uh, and OS systems. Um, however, the source content must be in, in HTML in order to uh, to edit uh, the, the, the documents and convert it to EPUB. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't support video or audio files. Another software we have is the Sigil, uh, which has some problems like lacking of cross-platform exporting uh, options, and it needs you to, to be a little bit familiar uh, with HTML and CSS in order to be able to create your, your EPUBs through uh, this software. Uh, also, there is the iBooks Author, which is the most popular uh, authoring 
uh, tool in the world. Uh, it has very friendly user interface, drag and drop. Uh, it supports book widgets. Actually, they are the ones who created book widgets. Um, and since they are the most popular one, that, therefore, there are many online resources available uh, for you uh, that will help you in creating e EPUBs through the iBooks author. Uh, the problem with this software is that it's only supported uh, by Mac. You can only work on iBooks author on a Mac. And the published eBooks uh, will run only on iPad and Mac. Now, we will reach to, uh, now we reach to, the, to our last software, which is the Kutubi author, our software. Uh, it also supports book widgets and it supports interactivity, videos, audio files, galleries, uh, questions. Um, it's a, it support for, uh, it has a support for apps. You can export your, uh, your eBooks to different uh, formats like a web app, a desktop app, a mobile app, for example. Through the Kutubi author, you can create libraries and also export it to uh, all the formats. Uh, the problem with it is it, uh, that uh, it doesn't run on Linux. It only runs on Windows and on Mac. So today uh, I will be working on the Kutubi author. And just uh, a brief introduction about Kutubi. Kutubi is a complete end-to-end ebook solution for any organization. We have many products. One of them is the Kutubi author, which is the main software I will be working on uh, today. So uh, before I continue with the software, uh, for the ones who don't know uh, the software or, or haven't even tried using it yet, uh, to download the software and to use it, you will go to our website, kutubi.com. It's very easy, it's very straightforward. You just enter your name, your email, and you will click on get your free license. An email will be sent to you with all of the instructions that you need to download the software and start using your free version. So, our main topic today, three free ways to create eBooks through the Kutubi author, the software, the authoring tool I will be working on today. The first way is exporting your ebook as an EPUB format, which will be read by EPUB readers like Kubo, Nook, Sony Reader, or even iBooks. And uh, in Kutubi, we've also created uh, an EPUB reader called the Kutubi Reader. It's a free app that you can also download from our website. Uh, it can run on Windows, uh, on Mac, desktops, or even on your mobile phones. You can download it from Google Play or App Store. It's a free app that, uh, that you can read EPUB files from. Now, the second way, uh, or the second free way to create your eBooks is to create a standalone app a web app or a desktop app. A desktop app can be a Windows app or a Mac app or even a Chrome app. The third way, uh, the third free way to publish or to create your ebook is to upload it on our shared library. The Kutubi shared library is actually um, a public library Anyone can access it. It's available. Um, uh, you can access it from a web browser. You can access it from a mobile device. You can access it from uh, your desktop. Uh, and since you're going to upload your ebook on this library, so it will be accessible to everyone. So now, let me show you uh, how we can uh, move forward with these three ways, uh, with these free way, three free ways to uh, create our. Uh, ebooks. So I will jump into the software, the Kutubi author software. For the ones who haven't seen the software uh, yet, as you can see here, it's divided into four primary panels the edit panel, the customize, the export, and finally the manage panel. In the edit panel, we're basically creating the content of our ebook. You're adding all of the interactive elements to your document. Either you're creating it from scratch, from inside the, the edit panel by adding text, images, galleries, links, questions, video files, audio files. You can add any of these interactive elements to your document. Or let's say you already have a PDF of your ebook and you just want to uh, export it to uh, different uh, formats. So we can choose the import PDF option where you will only add the PDF and click on import. 
the PDF will be imported and will be divided into chapters in this table and you can also add any interactive element you want from this menu over your PDF document. The third way to create uh, your ebook from the edit panel is to import an HTML file. Let's say you are working on uh, an open office, uh, Microsoft Word, PowerPoint. You can uh, save your document as an HTML file and then you can import it to the Kutubi author by uh, choosing the import uh, HTML. It will also be imported, uh, divided into chapters and you can also add any interactive element you want over the HTML document. Um, another thing before we leave the, the edit panel, uh, for the ones who want to uh, get in deep with their chapter, they can go to the source mode and you can edit the default HTML uh, of your chapter directly from the source mode. Uh, you can also play around with the CSS and JavaScript of your chapter from these two modes, the CSS and the JavaScript. You can add uh, any line of code that you want to change, for example, the play button of the video, uh, the play button of the audio file, all of these can be done from the CSS mode and of course the JavaScript mode. So, after creating the content of your ebook, we will move forward to the customized panel. In the customized panel, you're basically experiencing the feel and look of your ebook, the final uh, or the end result uh, of your ebook. Uh, it's divided into two sections the design section and the component section. In the design section, you're basically uh, adding your own logo. Uh, at the beginning uh, of the ebook, uh, adding a startup image. Uh, you can play around with the colors uh, of the reader itself, the upper bar and the lower bar. As you can see here, I have the upper bar. I can play around with the colors. Let's change it, for example, to blue. Okay, um, change this one to yellow. As you can see here, I can play around with the colors of the upper bar, of the lower bar, and the text inside these bars. From the component section, you can enable or disable any of the components inside your reader. Now, by highlighting any word in the reader, in your ebook, I'm sorry, some extra options will appear to you, like for example, the copy to clipboard, the text to speech, Wikipedia lookup, Google lookup, uh, add note, or highlight the word. Now, all of these components, you can disable them from the component section or you can leave them enabled by default. The final thing about the customized panel is that you can view the end result of your ebook from different platforms. I want to see how my ebook will look like, for example, from an iPad. So I can choose an iPad and I can start interacting with it directly from the customized panel. This is how it will look like from an iPad. We can choose, of course, different or other uh, platforms, maybe a mobile phone, an iPhone 6, can rotate it, and I can interact with it directly from the customize panel. So, after finishing this phase, you've already created the content of your ebook and you have designed the reader of your ebook. We will move forward to the export phase. So, uh, the three free ways. Uh, I mentioned earlier in the presentation. The first one is the EPUB. You can export your ebook as an EPUB. If I click on create, the EPUB will be downloaded to, your, to my desktop. I can use any EPUB reader to read this file. Let's, for example, use the Kutubi reader, which is actually, as I mentioned, a free uh, software that you can download either on your desktop or on your mobile device to read EPUB files. This is the Kutubi Reader from uh, a Windows uh, app. So what I will do is I will choose the open EPUB file and I will choose the EPUB file I've just created from the Kutubi author. Let me open and it will open inside the Kutubi Reader just like uh, what I've seen in the customized panel. As you can see here, it's opened in the uh, Kutubi Reader and I can browse it and read the whole ebook. So this is the first way, exporting your ebook as uh, an EPUB file. Let's go back to the software. 
The second free way is exporting it either as a web app or as a desktop app, which is a standalone app. Now, if I exported it as a web app, if I clicked on create, a folder will be downloaded uh, into my uh, desktop. It will contain all of the default files of your ebook, the HTML, the JavaScript, the CSS of your file. You can then take these files and you can upload them to your server or your website using FTP. This way your ebook will look just like any page uh, in your uh, website. Also, as I mentioned, we can export it as a desktop app. We have three options, either export it as a Windows app, a Mac app, or a Chrome app. Let's say I've exported it as a Windows app. I'll just enter the application name. I can add a logo if I want, an icon, I'm sorry, uh, and I will click on create. When you click on create, uh, the Windows app will be downloaded to your uh, desktop, this zip file. You can unzip this file and you will be able to access uh, your uh, .exe file directly from uh, your Windows app, the book will open directly without the need of any external uh, software to read the ebook. Okay, so until uh, it opens, we can see the, uh, the third free way to uh, publish or to create your ebook, which is exporting to the Kutubi shared library. Now, the last option, which is export to library, I will just choose the Kutubi shared library. When you choose the Kutubi shared library and click on upload, this way uh, your book will be uploaded to the Kutubi shared library. Just before we go into the Kutubi shared library, I just want to see, to show you uh, that the ebook uh, will open uh, in, uh, as a standalone app without the need of an external software. As you can see here, it's opening just like what we have seen in the uh, customize panel. Okay, so this is the Windows app. For the shared library, let me open it in browser so you can see the Kutubi shared library. As I mentioned, it's accessible from all devices, uh, either if you're opening it from a web browser on your desktop, uh, from a web browser on your uh, mobile device, it's responsive, so it will adapt to any screen size. Uh, you can also open the Kutubi shared library from inside the Kutubi reader app. As you can see here, we can access the shared library directly from inside the Kutubi Reader app. So if my users have already downloaded the Kutubi uh, Reader on their desktop or on their mobile device, they can access the Kutubi Shared Library from inside the Kutubi Reader. Therefore, they will be able to access the ebook that I've just uploaded to the Shared Library. This is from inside the Kutubi Reader app, and this is from uh, the web browser. It might be taking uh, some time from the web browser due to some internet issues. As you can see here, it's opening from the web browser. So these are the free, three free ways to create uh, your ebook and publish it so that your users can uh, read your ebook. Let me go back to uh, our presentation. It might be lagging off a little bit due to some internet connection issues, as I mentioned. Okay, so now uh, I will give you uh, our free support channels that you can use uh, to reach us as soon as possible. Of course, we have the webinar recordings. Uh, for this webinar, for example, uh, you can access uh, the recorded video uh, through the same link you use to access uh, the webinar. To access the rest of the webinars, you will go to kutubi.com slash webinars and you will find all of the webinars available by registering to any webinar. You will be, you will be directed uh, to its video, its recorded video, and you can download it on your desktop. Also, we have step-by-step -step online video tutorials and also the webinar recordings will be available on our YouTube channel. And of course, the knowledge base articles on support.kotobi.com, they are actually user manuals that you can use to, for example, add a video, add an image, add a gallery, anything that you want to do 
inside the Kutubi author will be available on our support website. And to reach the Kutubi team, our team, you can reach us either by email, online chat, or by phone. We're always available uh, to help you. And finally, the giveaway. The giveaway will be a one mobile app credit worth $30. Before I can tell you uh, from where to get this giveaway, let me go back to the software. As you can see here, we have different export options, and I have mentioned three free ways to create your ebook. Okay, we have another export option, which is exporting your ebook as a mobile app. We have an Android app, you can export it as an Android app, an iOS app, or a Windows Phone app. If I exported it as an Android app, for example, the .apk file will be downloaded to, your, to my desktop. I can then take this file and upload it uh, on my developer account on Google Play, and now my users can just search for it on Google Play and can download it and use it like any other application. So this is actually a paid uh, service or a paid export feature, so our giveaway is uh, a one mobile app credit that we will add to your license and by adding it to your license you will be able to export a branded mobile app either Android, iOS or Windows Phone. So for the ones who want to take this giveaway you will just have to send me uh, an email on my uh, personal or, uh, email of Kutubi. Let me write it on the chat so that uh, everyone can have it. Okay, it's muhi at kutubi.com. You just have to send me an email telling me that you have attended the webinar and I will add the one mobile app credit to your account and you can export a branded mobile app. So for now, questions are welcome. I'll be more than happy to answer any of your inquiries or questions. Okay, Philip is asking, can we sell ebooks? Uh, in your library. Okay, so until now, the payment feature through the library is not uh, available. Um, and just one more thing about libraries, you can create your own library app. You don't have to upload uh, to the shared library, but of course, it's uh, creating your own library app will be, uh, you'll have to get a paid license for that. But let me show you, for example, this is a, a library for one of our users in South Africa. Um, it's a magazine and they are selling their ebooks. That's why it's private, so we won't be able to access the ebooks. Uh, it will tell us that we will have to log in first using email and password or a redeem code. All of this can be controlled from inside the Kutubi author, but fortunately, we can browse the books and see how it will look like. Uh, if I try to click on any of them, it will tell me. Uh, login to read. So until now we don't have a payment through the website but what you can do and this is actually what uh, they are doing the magazine they have they are having a website where they sell their ebooks from and they are using our user integration API it's a very straightforward easy guide that you can use so that users can be added automatically to your library account since it's private so no one will be able to access it unless they have a username or password or a promo code so if you're using our user integration API any user that will go to your website and buy your ebook will be added directly to the library account an email will be sent to him asking him to create his own password this way he will be able to access your library Exactly, Philip, like that personal library option. If you created your own library, it will be just like this one. Of course, you will have your own uh, brand, your own logo, uh, your own watermark, your own colors and everything. Uh, but it will be just like this one. Uh, and for the library app, you can export it as well to all formats as a web app, as a desktop app, Windows, Mac, or uh, Chrome app or you can export it as a native mobile app, Android, iOS uh, or Windows Phone and finally you can integrate it with LMS, you can export it as a score package and put it on your LMS if you're a university or school or something. Uh, and actually for the payment feature, uh, it's a future request we are working on, 
the development team is working on. It's not yet available, but maybe in the future it will be. So in the meantime, you can use our user integration API, which is available on our support website, so that your users will be added automatically upon paying from your website. Okay, someone uh, saying uh, if, um, how to remove the Kutubi logo uh, from the web or desktop app. Okay, so let me go back. Here, if I export it as the web app or a desktop app using my free version, the Kutubi watermark will be, uh, will be there. At the beginning of your ebook, it will appear. You won't be able to remove it. However, if you want to remove uh, the Kutubi watermark from the web or desktop app, let me go to the pricing page, you will have to get our basic license. It's $100 once in a lifetime, paid only once, and using this license, you will be able to remove the Kutubi watermark from the web and desktop apps, and you can place your watermark instead of Kutubi's watermark because someone might ask about the premium license. The premium license is actually uh, just like the basic. However, here you will have an extra five mobile exports. You will be able to export branded mobile apps five times, like the, the giveaway, which is a one mobile app. Here in the premium, you have five mobile uh, exports. And of course, you have unlimited number of exports as web and desktop apps branded with your own watermark. And you can also export unlimited number of times as a SCORM package if you have an LMS. Okay, someone is asking about uh, the questions. If I want to add questions uh, to the ebook, um, can I uh, have the answer sent to my account? Okay, let me, or to my, to my email, I'm sorry. Let me go to the edit panel, okay, and go to the next chapter because I, I've already created a bank of questions in this chapter. Okay. So adding questions. Uh, if I try to add a question, I will have access to these three sections, questions, layout, and options. In the questions check section, you're actually adding the questions that you want to add. We have four types of questions that you can add, true and false, or multiple choice with a single answer, multiple choice with multiple answer, or a short answer question, open-ended questions. So, by clicking on any of them, a new question will be added in this table. You will just have to uh, enter the question itself and the correct answer. Uh, you can add an image to this question. You can add an answer explanation that will appear to the user after submitting the answers. And of course, you will define the score weight. Also, you will have to choose a response type, either a self-answer or a self-answer with report or do nothing when uh, the answers are submitted. Let me choose the self-answer with report to show you what will happen. But before that, uh, in the layout section, you'll just define the color, the font size, and the padding of your uh, questions and answers. In the options section, we have some extra options, like, for example, you can have a clear button, a preserve button. You can highlight the correct answers after they are submitted. Uh, of course, you will define the passing score, the total score. You can have a randomized option, which means every time the student or the user will access your chapter, the questions will be randomized. Also, if you, we support 17 language, so if you choose a language that is right to left, you can check the right to left so it, it can be supported. Uh, and the sending to email, which was your question. Uh, if this is a cloud ebook or if it's an ebook on your library, if you uploaded uh, the book to your own library app, uh, you can place your email here. This way, each student that will answer your questions after submitting them, the answers with the student's name will be sent to your email. Another feature that we have, let's say I've created here six questions, but I only want two questions to be displayed 
to the student each time he accesses the chapter. So I can enter to and check the randomize. This way, each time the student will access the chapter, he will only be able to see two random questions out of the six questions. Let me show you uh, how the questions uh, will look like. So, in order to interact with the chapter, we can't do so from the edit panel. We will have to go to the preview mode. It's also in the edit panel, but just click on this green button uh, at the bottom right. Uh, in the edit panel, we can interact with everything inside uh, our chapter, like playing a video, uh, playing uh, an audio file, and answering the questions. Let's say I've answered the question, and I clicked on Submit Answers. This is a self-answer with a report response. It will show me my total score, and it will give me a detailed report uh, about the questions I've got correct and incorrect. If we clicked on OK, we will be able to see the correct answers highlighted in green. OK, so another question about videos. Um, do I have to, uh, to import the video file itself, or can I link it to a YouTube video? Actually, this is, uh, this is uh, available. Uh, if you want to add a video, we will just click on add video and actually the audio file is the same. We have two options to import a video. Either you enter the URL of the video if it's hosted on another server like YouTube as you mentioned, or you can add the video file itself if you already have the video on your desktop. So this is for videos. For audio files, it's the same as the videos. You can either add the, the audio URL if it's hosted on another server, or you can add the audio file itself if you want. Okay, so Virginia is asking, need music in my ebook. Is it okay for YouTube to use their free music in Kutubi ebook without any charges? And is it okay for Apple to use MP music I have paid for in Kutubi ebook without any charges? Okay, so uh, let me just uh, get, get this clear for all the users. Uh, we as a Kutubi uh, platform, we provide the tool for the authors and for uh, the content creators. However, uh, the content depends on the author himself. So uh, we don't place charges if you want to use uh, any music from YouTube or from Apple. Uh, it will depend on your uh, design on your content. Uh, we just provide the tool for you to create ebooks and export them to uh, several uh, formats. Okay, so someone is asking about book widgets. How can I uh, add uh, a book widget? Okay, so first. Let me show you uh, a sample ebook that we have already created uh, through Kutubi Author. Uh, I will show you how the book widgets will appear inside books created from uh, Kutubi Author. Let me go to the next chapter where it contains some book widgets. Okay, as you can see here, here's an interactive graph, and this is actually a book widget. It's a page widget, which means it will be available in the chapter. While I'm scrolling down, I found the book widget. Another book widget, this interactive graph. Okay, so let me show you another type of book widgets that can be inserted from the Kutubi author, which is a pop-up widget, which means it will be an image or an icon. When clicked, the book widget will open in a pop-up window. After finishing uh, playing around with this book widget, you can just close this uh, pop-up widget and continue reading uh, your ebook. Okay, it's open now. It's a BMI calculator created from bookery.com. Okay, so for book widgets, uh, they are not created from the Kutubi author. You can either create them yourself using HTML, JavaScript, CSS, or you can create them from famous websites like bookery.com. Uh, 
It's very straightforward. It's drag and drop. Very friendly user interface uh, they have. After creating the book widget from uh, such famous websites, you will download the book widget file. It's actually a zip file on your desktop. And when you want to add it to your ebook, we will choose the widget. It will ask us. If, I want, if we want to add it as a pop-up widget or as a page widget. And I've just show, uh, shown you the difference between pop-up widget and page widget. You just have to choose the type and add the widget type and click on create. This way the widget will be added to your ebook. Okay, another question, really good one. Uh, can I add links to an image? Actually, yes, you can add a link to uh, an image. You just have to highlight the image and you will click on uh, link. Uh, you can link an image or a text uh, by four different ways. Either you can link it to a website by entering the, the website URL or you can uh, link it to a book location. Let's say I want to link it to another chapter, for example. Or you can link it to a pop-up message. When the image is clicked or the text is clicked, a pop-up message will open uh, inside the ebook. Or finally, you can link it to an audio file. Either place the URL of the audio if it's hosted on another server, or you can place the audio file itself if you have it on your desktop. Okay, uh, a very important question. Uh, someone is asking about the library. How many ebooks can I add uh, to my library app if I want to create uh, my own personal library? Okay, let me go back to the pricing and we will choose the pricing of the Kutubi library. Actually, the cost depends on the number of ebooks. You can start with up to 10 books until unlimited number of ebooks inside your library app. Uh, it starts with 10 books and 1,000 users. If it's going to be a private library like the sample I showed you earlier, uh, it will be $500 per year. Uh, by increasing the number of books or increasing the number of users, the cost of the license will increase. And of course, if you started with the 10 books and you want to upgrade later to 100 books, you will just pay the difference. So answering your questions, you can add as much ebooks as you want. You will just have to choose one of these licenses. OK, so I think uh, this is it. Uh, if you have any other questions that pops up in your mind or, or while working you got some inquiries you want, uh, you want it to be answered, just send us an email or through, through Skype. And again, I want to remind you of the giveaway. It's a one mobile app credit. You can export your ebook as a branded mobile app, either Android, iOS, or Windows phone. All what you have to do is send me an, an email on my personal email, mohi at kutubi.com. Uh, I sent it through the chat to everyone. And uh, you will tell me that you have attended uh, the webinar. Uh, I will add the one uh, mobile app credit to your account, and you can export your ebook. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed this webinar, and I hope to see you in the other webinars, in the coming webinars. Uh, thank you uh, for attending.